in this video I'll show you how to use the scanner of your HP 2700E, 2752E and 2710E. First I'll show you how to scan using your smartphone and by the way this also applies if you have a computer it's exactly the same process and then I'll show you how to scan using the printer itself without any other devices. So let's get started with the first method using your smartphone. First thing, we need to turn on the direct Wi-Fi of the printer so we can connect to our smartphone. To do this, first wake up your printer by pressing the power button. Then once the screen here is working, you need to have this icon over here. You see there's a smartphone with a printer. If you don't see this icon, what you need to do is to press the Wi-Fi button and the button right above it. You see a sheet of paper with an arrow pointing down both of these buttons at the same time during a second or two until you see this icon appearing. If it doesn't work, even after pressing these two buttons, press the Wi-Fi button once only. Sometimes this can solve the problem, but you absolutely need to see this icon. Then you need to go on your phone or computer and download the HP Smart App. If you're on Android, go on your Google Play Store. If you have an iPhone on the App Store. If you have a computer, go on the Windows Store or App Store if you have a Mac. And install the HP Smart App. In the meanwhile, I'll show you how to get the Wi-Fi password of your printer. So first of all, we need to put some paper here. I'll just put a sheet of paper like this. And then you need to press the I button over here just once. Wait a few seconds and we should have a paper coming out with the Wi-Fi password that will be needed in just a few seconds. I'll show you where to find the password in a second. Now let's just take the app that finished to download. Okay, so this is the HP Smart app. Again, it's available on computers as well, not only smartphones. Open the app. You may have this screen, press accept all. This is very important. Unfortunately, HP won't let you scan or even print using your smartphone or computer without you signing in into your HP account. For now, I'll just tap skip now and have access to the main menu of the app. Okay, now what we need to do is to connect to the network of the printer by going into the Wi-Fi settings of your device. On Android, I just have to drag like this, then keep press on the Wi-Fi icon and it will bring me to the Wi-Fi settings. Now I need to find the Wi-Fi name of my printer. This is where this uh, sheet of paper comes handy. Over here we have the Wi-Fi direct icon and it will tell us the Wi-Fi direct name okay, of our printer. We need to find it here. Mine is the top one here. I'll tap on it and it will ask for a password. The password is on this paper as well. It should be a number over here. So I'll go ahead and type this number. Okay, I typed my password. I'll press connect. It will just take a few seconds until I see that it's fully connected. Perfect, connected. You may receive this message. Just press on keep Wi-Fi connection. And go back to the app, the HP Smart app. From here, press the add your first printer. If you already have a printer added, you'll need to press a small icon on the top right corner that um, is a printer with a plus sign. But in our case, since it's the first one, I'll press on this and then press on add printer. You should have the name of your printer appearing in this list, tap on it, and it will be added to this main page. And now that we're on the main screen, just to show you that you absolutely need a, an account, an HP account to use the printer, you just have to go down here and usually you just pr uh, press the print scan icon here. But in our case, it will bring um, us to this page where it will force us to sign in. So again, 
So if you don't have an account, create one. It's free. You just take a few seconds to do it. If you have already one, press the sign in button. In my case, I already have one. So I'll go ahead and logged in. Okay, I'm finally logged in into my HP account and finally I can start scanning. So I'll go back here, press printer scan. On, on the top of the screen, they will ask us the size of the page we want to scan. Let's say I want to scan this one over here. It's just a regular eight and a half by 11 inch. So I'll leave it like this. If not, just tap on it and change it. And now all I have to do is to open the scanner like this, place the page facing down and align it with this corner over here. You see there's a small uh, icon here. Well, it just tells you that you need to place the paper facing down with the top part of uh, the page over here like that and push it to this corner like this. Now close the lid, go back to the app and press the white button. And you'll be able to view a preview of what you just can. You can also change the borders by bring them closer or just adjust them with your finger. Then press next. And on this page, you will be able to well, remove the scan, the page. And if you have another one, just do the same thing, put it here and press the plus sign. This way you can combine multiple pages in one single document. But if you're done and this is the only page you want uh, to scan, just press the save button here. You'll be able to give this a new name, select what kind of file type you want. If it's a document, maybe you want PDF, so you can select it here and press the save button. And just like that, the file has been saved on your smartphone. The same thing applies on for your computer as well. It will be saved on your computer. Now, what to do if you want to make a scan of this page without any computer or smartphone? Well, it's very easy. If you just want to have a copy, put it down the same way, facing down, aligned with this corner. And then over here, you see there's two buttons. The first one has some colors around and the second one is just a black circle. The color one is if you want a copy to be in color and the black one is if you want your scan, your copy to be in black and white. In my case, I just want black and white. So I'll press once on it. Make sure that there's some paper on your printer. I forgot. Okay, so I'll just put quickly a sheet of paper here. And just like that, we scanned this document and made a copy in black and white. So thanks for watching. I hope this video was useful. If so, please leave a like comment down below, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.